What's up, folks? My name is Felix. Welcome back to a new video where we are going to talk about four different projects. I want to give you updates because there have been exciting news, especially about Manta Network. And without further ado, we want to get right into it. I mentioned in my last video about Manta that there has now been a second airdrop announced for early adopters. So we not only have the new Paradigm airdrop where you can get your hands on some Manta tokens. No, we also have the so-called Into the Blue, which is the early adopter airdrop. And now the team confirmed that there will also be an airdrop for tier stakers. So to incentivize the people which are securing and supporting the network, this was published in their newest Twitter space, which is called Manta Network with Celestia underneath. And if you listen until the end, the speaker of Manta Network is saying this. There will be an official announcement very soon. He didn't yet spoke about a snapshot date as well as the minimum amount of tier which was required to qualify for this third part of the airdrop. I would guess it was the 15th of December, shortly before a new paradigm launched. If we are extremely lucky, it could also be the 31st, but the tier amount you had to stake was higher. So let's see once they post it in the official announcement in the upcoming days. You just want to follow their Twitter and you shouldn't miss it. Next up on our list, which I wanted to talk about very shortly, is the Celestia ecosystem and the project that are launching in it. Because there is another project called Saga, which now reviewed the airdrop allocation and who they will give it to. So you want to pay very close attention to all the Celestia ecosystem projects. You might have heard of many of them and many of them will also do an airdrop in the future. That's why you want to stake tier tokens. That's the play of the cycle, at least for the first three quarters of this year until the first big unlock for tier token happens. And the projects I would pay or I'm paying very close attention to are Barra Chain, Caldera. And if we scroll through the list, you can see they mentioned they already announced the airdrop. Then there is also Hyperlane. We have Manta Network, which obviously already revealed all the data. Then we have Neutron. We have, for example, also Saga, which we want to talk about in a few seconds. Then we have, of course, Wormhole, the interoperability project. And one that I missed here in this case is Squid. So you should definitely check out these projects because there's a very high likelihood that they will also do an airdrop to tier stakers or if you use their service, which is currently mainly on DevNet. So there are still a lot of chances here. So let's talk about Saga and their airdrop allocation, which they revealed in a Medium article over here. And there you can, for example, see they concentrated mainly on stakers, so on Adam, Avex, Medic, and Tier stakers, and the snapshots were made quite early here. In this case, for the Adam community, the snapshot was made at the 20th of October for the Tier stakers, which required at least 23 Tier tokens staked. So compared to Dimension, for example, they just required one Tier. This is way higher here in this case. There, the snapshot was made on the 1st of December. Then we have the Polygon community, which was also on the 20th of October, which also counts for the Avalanche community. So if you have staked your tokens until this snapshot time, you should be eligible to receive Saga tokens from the airdrop. You might just want to follow their Twitter page or join their Discord to don't miss any information about it. Next project on our list today is Evo. This is a decentralized perpetual and options trading platform. One that I would definitely not hate farming. I mentioned that in several videos on my channel, for example, here in the most valuable airdrops 2024 or also in the most under farmed or under the radar airdrops. And I think Evo got quite a lot of attention. What you want to do here is just build up as much volume as you can. I targeted 100k. I already reached that goal. Next goal is 200k until they announce a snapshot date. They are now giving more and more hints that it will be soon. As we can see here on their Twitter, for example, five hours ago, they just posted soon again. And I expect it to happen latest until the end of Q1 but more likely that it will be within the next four weeks, so until the mid of February. So if you want to farm, I think there is still time because once they put their announcement up, this will probably or most likely be the snapshot date. So there is time left to build up volume in this project, but make sure you are at least in the top 30% or maybe top 40, not sure yet because 
my last video for example we were at 38k of unique traders now we are already sitting at 45k roughly and those were just 10 days so it seems that it's picking up steam a lot of people might do farming on several wallets that's why you of course want to do more than all the others and i think more in this case is at least getting to 10k volume in this project to get a significant airdrop amount in this case the last thing i wanted to talk about in this video is monet another project which concentrates on parallelized performance on evm or for the evm and a similar project which had a very good performance over the last few weeks is for example say we saw that say the say token went from a bottom of 10 cents in the beginning of november to almost 90 cents it almost did a 9x and that's what i think monad can also do if this narrative really plays out monad is not even on devnet yet that's why you can start farming it early here there are no galaxy campaigns or other stuff that's why you want to already jump into their discord follow their twitter there is one galaxy campaign which is not from the official monad team it is the monad web 3 podcast basically called the pipeline i am farming those points here so doing those tasks which are just simply retweets and likes on twitter and other kind of stuff and not many people are doing this right now i don't know if this will be incentivized in the end but i think a good way to start and keep track with what's going on in the background and that's why i again want to mention galaxy here in the end you want to farm or do those quests on galaxy it's so important we saw it in manta network it can give you an airdrop allocation if you did certain quests or even give you a boost on your airdrop allocation because you received certain nfts oats or other kind of stuff farm points whatever it will be the only thing you want to do here is connect your wallet connect your twitter discord telegram and insert your wallet addresses for the different chains and what you also might want to do is load up some US dollar balance. So around 10 to 20 US dollars to be able to claim all those oats and NFTs. Those should not cost you more than I think around 10 to 20 cents each time you do it. But a little amount is good to have and to start with. So that should do it on today's overview. If you have questions, feel free to drop them below this video. Or you can also join our community telegram group if you want to discuss topics with other people. And if you don't want to miss future content, which I release almost on a daily basis here on this channel about airdrops or other DeFi high risk projects, this is the right place for you. If you like today's video, it would be great if you can hit the like button. Thanks for watching and see you in my next one.